A warm welcome to our Tibet lecturers. I'm Gan Krishna from Macmillan, and today I will explain the recent updates in the N5 Computerized Financial Systems, or CFS, curriculum. I will also demonstrate how our DHET-approved TVET First Students Book and Lecturer's Guide will help you implement the revised curriculum with ease. The updated CFS N5 curriculum is being implemented in July 2022. You will need the latest textbooks to teach the correct curriculum and prepare students for exams. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2022, tells you that this is the correct book. Let's start with the major changes between the old CFS N5 curriculum and the new one. To begin with, the old syllabus consisted of six modules, whereas the new syllabus has seven modules. There are three new modules in the N5 syllabus, which were previously taught in N6. The three new modules are Module 5 on Analysis and Interpretation of Financial Statements on a Spreadsheet, followed by Module 6 on Financial Reports on an Accounting Package, and lastly, Module 7, which is called Budgets on an Accounting Package. Two modules, which used to be in the N5 curriculum, have been removed from N5 and will now be in the new N6 curriculum. The two modules which have been removed are salaries and wages using a spreadsheet package and salaries and wages using a computer package. Two modules have been removed from the new N5 syllabus altogether. The two removed modules are dealing with a fixed asset package on the computer and document project on a computerized accounting system. The new N5 curriculum introduces up-to-date terminology which follows the latest accounting standards. Examples of updated terminology include statement of comprehensive income, statement of financial position, statement of cash flow, inventory turnover rate, trade receivables collection period, trade payable settlement period, and trade receivables turnover rate. The module weightings have been changed in the new curriculum, so do go through the new weightings carefully before you plan your teaching. The design of the 2022 curriculum helps you in three important ways. Firstly, the old modules 2 and 3 covered outcomes that could not be examined. These modules have been replaced by outcomes that are examined and are more relevant for the course. Secondly, the curriculum includes a module on the analysis and interpretation of financial statements, aligning it with the Financial Accounting N5 syllabus. And thirdly, the module on Pastel Accounting in N5 ensures continuity with Pastel from the N4 course. That concludes the main changes and improvements to the CFS N5 curriculum. I am now going to tell you about seven unique features of TVET First CFS N5 and show you how these features help students achieve their best marks. Number one, simple step-by-step -step explanations with clear screenshots help students to follow the correct steps when working in Excel or Pascal. This approach also helps students to study on their own. Number two, the many varied assessment activities are specifically targeted at preparing students for exams. Number three, exam tips throughout the TVET First Students book provide guidelines and suggestions for tackling exam questions. The exam tips also alert students to common problems and how to avoid them, empowering students to approach the exams with confidence. Number four, each module ends with a summary in flow diagram form. Students can revise all the module summaries to check their understanding and prepare for exams. Number five, each module has summative activities which include exam type questions and these help students to prepare for exams. Number six, the book is quality checked 
throughout, ensuring that the instructional guidelines are 100% correct. Number seven, this textbook is ideal for face-to-face -face instruction or distance learning. No series is complete without comprehensive resources for lecturers, and the TVET First Lecturer's Guide provides excellent support for implementing the new curriculum. The Lecturer's Guide offers you these features. Number one, a photocopyable practice exam with a marking memorandum. The practice exam gives students the opportunity to complete a mock exam based on the new content in the syllabus. The memorandum ensures lecturers have the answers they need. Number two, the lecturer's guide includes an overview of the learning outcomes and where they are covered in the student's book. Number three, there are comprehensive answers to all activities. Number four, we include full mark allocations to help with marking and exam preparation. Number five, the lecturer's guide includes teaching and learning strategies. And number six, there's a lesson plan template for lecturers to use. Remember, choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.